guys welcome back to the channel today i'm showing you how to make burger buns from scratch with three ingredients and please consider subscribing and liking this video and sharing it with someone that might need it and i'm going to go straight into it so let's get started you start by adding 400 grams of all-purpose flour and to that you add 30 grams of sugar and then one teaspoon of salt and then mix well to combine when it's all combined you add two and a quarter teaspoon of dry yeast and then to that you add 240 ml of slightly warm milk so mix well to combine then add 30 grams of melted butter I use unsalted butter so that I can negate the amount of salt that's going into my dough. So this was my unsalted butter and then one egg. I like to beat my eggs separately so that you no know, cracks and I wash my eggs obviously. So yes, added the egg in and then time to combine. So it's also required that you knead and if you have a stand mixer you can use it to knead but I don't so I was kneading with my hands and the test for this kneading is you have to knead until this dough stops sticking on the surface and I know the temptation to add more flour is so close but don't do that just knead until it stops sticking and you will see as we go on it stops sticking just by itself so Well, you can't say the amount of time it will take, but as you can see, my dough, the more I need, it stops sticking. And when your dough is ready, it is time to divide it into the number of buns that you want. This dough was enough for six buns, and I could have made eggs if I wanted to. But this is me just turning it into small balls, and I had, I would say, medium-sized burgers. So I put it in this baking tray to make them rest here for at least 40 minutes to allow the yeast to work and then in the process when i was waiting for my dough to rise i started with my patties i started with three quarter ground beef and then this is onion one red onion and garlic and then combined kind of like working the dough and then for my spices i had beef masala i had paprika i had uh, garlic i also had blend and mixed spices and i put it all in and then a little bit of vegetable oil and then work it like working the dough kneading basically and then i added a little bit of salt careful because the blend had salt and a little bit of black pepper then more kneading and then it was time to put my one egg there and then I started with one cup of breadcrumbs that I didn't end up using here you just have to use your judgment and know the texture that you want you don't want to make them as hard the part is as hard but also you don't want to make them fall apart so I didn't end up using the full cup of breadcrumbs so here my patties were coming together you see I'm trying to see whether the texture is what I want and then I covered this tray with just a parchment paper and I have these cookie cutters that are really helpful in making cut patties so I put the cookie cutter in the middle and then put my meat and it helps me form the patties as you can see 
so squeeze it in a little bit make it compact and then remove your cookie cutter here comes my party and then that way i'm able to achieve an almost equal size party so here you go so repeat the process until you have all your meat into party shapes preheat your oven to 200 degrees celsius and after that it was time to wash the buns and you wash them with an egg to just give the brown color so here is me just like brushing it with the egg on top after washing it was it it was time to add the sesame seed so add your sesame seed or whatever seeds you like and then before my oven preheats I started making the patties which is adding a little bit of vegetable oil and then frying the patties obviously my pan is not big enough so I do it in batches as you can see let me tell you guys bugger flipping is not the easiest thing so if you need to use your hands please do and wash your hands and just make sure it's not hot so and then the preheated oven put the buns in for anything 13 to 15 minutes also the vegetables i went in with tomatoes and lettuce after 15 minutes i got my buns out and guys what more can you ask for freshly baked buns at home for my sauce i used mustard and then barbecue sauce and then added it this is my by far my favorite burger sauce and then cut my buns into two and spread the sauce on both of them but i'm going to cut four of the buns because i was going to give out some of it and then i had some burger cheese so i put it on top of the last four patties to just melt it a little bit and then you put your sauce on the buns to just make them tastier so put the patty and then piece of tomato lettuce and then cover the bun and secure it with a skewer repeat the process so we do the patty with cheese on top then okay just balance it tomato lettuce cover the bun secure it with a skewer easy right so guys if you like this video please consider subscribing like this video so that it can reach more people and share it with someone that might need it and enjoy the burgers and this was me trying to eat them bye bye